Um, good evening, colleagues. Uh, let me start with the members of the Samsa board. Um, the acting CEO of Samsa, uh, or Shagazi, as I like to call him, fondly. Uh, <laughs> I think, um, and let me say, regulator members, we have Andrew Pike, who was one of the very, very first regulator members, and Tunzi Madia, who was one of the most recent on our board. So, uh, good evening to you as well. Um, let me just say, I want to start off by saying thank you for this event because on an annual basis it brings us together and gives us a chance to reflect on the year, what has been happening. And uh, I know despite the lack of resources, uh, uh, Mr. Chilla always makes this function happen. It's a priority. So thank you for that. I think from my point of view, this year has been uh, what I would reflect on as like the tale of two cities been the best of times and worst of times. We started off with a season of hope in May, with the elections, uh, another free and fair election, with a lot of hope that came with it, the Tuma Mina and everything. Uh, we went on in the port sector to have a lot of disruption in terms of performance. We had ghost lows in Muka as well as Durban. We've had performance issues. At the same time, we've had an economy that hasn't really been doing too well. And, um, but yet there have been those really bright moments with Sia Kulisi holding that cup up there, getting the kind of reception. That's those pockets of excellence that have kept us going. Um, South Africa going into the IMO, uh, many, many other of those kinds of um, things that give us hope. And so for me, it's to say, where do we stand in the year going forward? What, what is each of us going to do to kind of be part of that uh, strive for excellence, um, that thing that takes us forward in South Africa? I've seen Andrew's book out. Uh, there's been many of those pockets. Uh, and, and, and really, we look forward to that kind of uh, thing. I mean, for us as a regulator, we almost didn't make it. We almost never had the regulator appointed and in the last uh, month of November we had a, an interim regulator appointed and we came up with a decision. We came up with a decision and I'm sorry to say to Port uh, Authority that it was a zero percent. They wouldn't be too happy about it. It gives them still enough money to do the job that they're supposed to be doing. It gives the profits that they're supposed to get. It allows the capex to be spent. It allows the full amount of opex. And in the zero percent, we did a minus twenty percent uh, decrease on export containers. So it gives us, or it gives the country, that ability to go out there and face international markets at a lower price. And that's what South Africa needs as a shot in the arm to take this economy forward. We hope that more people can do that kind of thing that takes this country forward. Uh, in the last month, uh, the candles are out, we've got the problems at ESCOM, etc. So it's not looking good. But yet, going forward, we have the IMO um, uh, parallel event next year being held in South Africa. That's another plus. And that's something that we are asking the port community to look forward to, to join in and participate, to put in those exhibition stands, to inject money where possible, uh, and to join in this event in Durban in October. That would actually propel South Africa a little bit more along the positive path. We've been recently in Colombia where the similar event has been has happened. The minister received a flag on behalf of South Africa. Um, and oddly enough, um, myself, Mr. Madia, uh, some people from the Ports Authority, I had managed to organize an, uh, a tour of their ports. And Peter, I must tell you that the ports in Colombia, in, in Cartagena, uh, were aiming at uh, 45 crane moves per hour. And on the day we were there, they were doing 
37 crane moves per hour in the two ports. One is uh, a private sector port run by the private sector. Uh, the other one is a state port run by the same group, by the private sector group. All of the, the private sector were people from Katipina that had put in their money into that port. No uh, investor was allowed more than 5%. So it, it, it's a people's port truly. People who use their spare cash to put that into the port and they own that port. Um, and they were doing 37 crane moves per hour on that day. I think we can get there in South Africa as well. I think that kind of model makes a lot of sense. Why should a port or a power generation plant not be owned by the people who put in their money? Why should it be through your taxes rather than through your investment? So those are some of the things that South Africa need to consider going forward. Um, like uh, the Sia Kulisi and his team holding up that trophy, we are asking you as well to then be part of taking South Africa forward. And I think that's the kind of objective of this kind of event. I don't want to be too long here. Uh, I just want to close off by saying that the ports regulator has put out uh, a draft uh, multi-year tariff methodology. Um, we had previously asked for comments in devising the tariff methodology. Uh, this is now going to be our third tariff methodology. The tariff methodology essentially is the manual with the formulae, etc., by which tariffs are calculated for the Ports Authority. Um, and that would be valid for three years. So we have had some submissions. We've then devised the tariff methodology, which we put out for public comment. Comments are due on the 3rd of February. And um, by the end of the financial year, uh, the Ports Regulator would actually then approve of that methodology and um, you know after the comments have been received and considered and that would be published as the final me methodology for the next three years. So that would in fact then define how tariffs are calculated in the port system for the next three years. So it's a fairly important thing for us. We would like to thank you for your participation in, a, in our road shows in August. Uh, also for those who have sent in um, um, comments for the tariff methodology itself and we hope that you will then continue to support us as well as to give in the kind of uh, comments that are constructive that take South Africa forward, our port system forward and the maritime sector forward. Thank you very much.